Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be using Affinity Photo to replace the background, replace the sky with something a bit better. Let's first bring in our sky image. I'll go up to File, come down to Place right here, and I have a nice sky picture right there. I'll use that one and choose Open. Get this little cursor. Just click in here someplace. That places that sky image on your page. There we are. Notice it comes in as a new layer. We can then position this. I'll just put it just like that, and I'll grab the bottom right-hand corner and pull this out so it fits our image. There we go. Okay, we can now hide that layer. Let's now make a duplicate of our background layer. Right-click on the layer and choose Duplicate right there. There we go. And then drag that layer above the sky layer. There we go. So it's our duplicate sky and then background. I'm doing the background in here just as a safety, just in case things get messed up. I can always go back to my original right there. Okay, on our new background layer up here, we're going to select out the horse and also that tree line in the background. For that, I like using this tool right here. This is the selection brush tool. It's really easy. You can see the brush size is right there. Mine's set pretty small. You can adjust your brush size right up here. Let's just set this at 35. There it is. And just begin brushing into the area that you want to keep. And then just work all the way around the horse. And I'll get that area here, and we'll get in here. This goes pretty fast, as you can see, but take your time, do a good job. I'll pull it down here, get the back of the horse in there. This little bit here wasn't grabbed, so I'll click into here and click in there. That should grab that. We'll fix this bit in here in just a moment. And then pull around and get the rest of the horse in here. If you want to do just the horse, you just make your selection just like that, and then clean that little bit up right down here. If you want to also have the tree line, which I do, come in and extend your selection into the tree line. I'll normally go along the top like this, and then I'll work back in and fill in the rest of that. There we go. There is the horse selected and that tree line. There's a little bit right in here that we don't want. So I'm going to change my selection here to subtract. Click the subtract tab, then just click into there, and that should remove that little bit, and that's pretty good. Okay, now we're going to clean up this selection, and we'll do that with the Refine tool right there. Here's a Refine Selection tool. I normally have my preview here on Overlay. That's just kind of a red coloration in there. I'll leave everything else at their defaults, and then simply paint over the edge of your selection. And I'll normally do this in just little strokes like this, and let Affinity Photo figure it out in between each one of those little strokes. There we go. Now you can move this box around. Just click the top tab up here, the top of the window. You can move that anywhere you want to to get out of the way. We'll go ahead and finish along the back side of the horse in here. And then let's get the front of the horse, the head in here and the face. And let's work around the whole section. Now some things like these real thin, real fine hairs in here, it won't get most of those. They're too small for a fine edge to catch, but it will get most everything else. And it should give us a real nice look. And let's work along and catch all the edges. Now down here, I also want to do the exact same thing into the tree line. And again, just little selections like that. It may take a couple of passes to get the whole thing properly selected and work along. And again, just taking your time and doing it in little strokes and let Affinity Photo figure it out. There we go. Once you have that done, once you've done the whole edge, come down here where it says Selection and change this to New Layer with Layer Mask and choose Apply. It figures it out, and there we go, there's the new layer. This checkerboard pattern just means that that's transparent, so we've now removed the background, and we can then replace this background with anything that we want. Just put a new layer underneath that layer with the layer mask, like we have our sky layer right down here. I'll show the sky layer. There it is. So we've now removed the background and then replaced that with a much better sky background very quickly and very easily here in Affinity Photo. Make sure you check out the link for my complete Affinity Photo training course, and the link for that's right there in the description. And I'll see you next time.